What's good, MABW team? What's going on today, MABW fam? I'm back today with another video. In today's video, to the ladies out there, I see that y'all went into a little frenzy when Gab Union put out to the world that she splits the bills 50-50 with D-Wade. To my audience out there, what's wrong with that? What's wrong with a woman splitting the bills with her husband? If there's anything that I can agree with Gab Union on, it's definitely this. It's about time that she said something other than trying to make D-Wade's son more of a girl. Now, I honestly don't believe she's splitting the bills 50-50. I haven't seen Gab Union in nothing major since the early 2000s, as far as movie roles, her shows are flopping. And I don't know if y'all could tell me something that she's been in major or what role she has had, but I haven't seen Gab Union in anything major since the early 2000s. Now, matter of fact, I'm going to take that back. The biggest thing I seen her in as of recent that I can remember was Bad Boys. That's as of recent, and that was a long time ago. Anyways, I honestly don't believe that she's helping pay bills 50-50 because her net worth is nothing near D-Wade. It says and it's estimated that Gab Union's net worth, net worth is $40 million and his net worth is $170 million. Now, in the article, Gab Union talked about how she feels that she has to keep on working to maintain and sustain their family life. But in all honesty, what is Gab Union out here doing? What is she out here doing? I can pretty much guarantee you that D Wade, because we gotta remember, Gab Union wears the pants in that family. So I can guarantee you that he is paying all the bills. To my men out there, I always tell you, if a woman is going to live with you or you're going to live with her, just split things 50-50. Don't you be one of those guys that's paying 80% and making her pay 20. You're paying 70 and making her pay 30. Y'all split things evenly down the middle. Guys, you say an MABW, why you say that? I'm telling you that, guys, because women love to be financially ready to get up and leave you whenever they want. When they're ready to take that leap and get rid of you, they want to be financially secure. So therefore, if you go into something where y'all living together and that lady wants you to pay more than what she's paying, you possibly may want to get rid of her. I'm telling you guys from experience, that I've learned from back in the pit in the past, women will stack their money underhandedly while you pay for everything. They will stack their bread. That goes you paying their car notes. That goes for you paying for their busted lace fronts, their busted nails, their clothes, their rent. While you're trying to help them do all this, they're just stacking their money. And believe me, when you are not able to do that for them anymore, they're going to move on from you. That's why I try to put, that's why I try to pass this information on to guys. You got to, you, you got to learn guys. Don't sit up there and be paying most of the bills. I agree. Gab Union should split the bills 50, 50, and there's definitely nothing wrong with that. But you got these women that were coming up in the comment section from what she stated and putting it out there that if they pretty much had to split the bills 50-50, that they will live by, this, by themselves. And my response would be, okay, well, live by yourself then. Would you rather pay 100% of the bills on your own or 50% of the bills on your own? That's easy math. That's easy math. And to be honest with you, half of y'all chicks can't even pay half the bills on your own. Y'all can't. Y'all barely can manage that because y'all live in check to check. And y'all put too much time into showing out for everybody else or trying to make other women jealous. 
or trying to catch somebody's eye. So y'all buying more and spending more on things that y'all really can't even afford. And y'all would rather pay y'all bills late and let y'all kids go hungry rather than pay y'all damn rent, put gas in your car and do the things that's necessary to actually survive. You'd rather you'd rather be in the most expensive get up, pay for busted lace fronts every single uh, couple of months, get your nails done every week and go out and party with your girls and spend your last hundred dollars on liquor at the bar. So therefore, like I stated to my guys, if y'all move in together, let her pay 50 50. Stop thinking that just because you're the man you're supposed to take on the road and pay most of the bills. A lot of you men out here have been fooled and bamboozled all your life. I don't know who has made this type of stuff up where they feel like or they want to make it seem like, well, if you're the man, you're supposed to take on most of the responsibility. No, we're in a new age right now. Those women can help out and put in their portion as well. They can do it just as well. I keep telling my men, all that happy life, happy wife shit is a myth. It's a myth. Stop living like that. Stop living your life thinking you have to make somebody happy and you got to stay miserable, but they need to live happy because when that lady leaves you, you're still going to be miserable and broke and she's going to be happy with all her money moving on to the next sucker. Anyways, that's my video for today. If you like the video, of course, comment, like, and subscribe. It ain't costing you a damn thing. And of course, I'm going to holler back at y'all later. Peace.